that's what it is. There we go. Uh, read. Order request. Okay. Order denied. All construction material orders need official letter council supervision approval before shipments are sent and delivered. So all these things that were needed were not gotten as they decided that it was more important to work on other things. That sounds about right, to be honest. Kind of a scary thought to think about when we do go into space fully, you know? Not just little missions or, or, or whatever, but like going to other planets, you know, setting up a station on the moon, whatever. And thinking about the government or governments that would be in control of it and the lives that would hang in the balance from bureaucratic decisions. And holy crap, that freaking thing hit me. <laughs> Sent me flying. But yeah, it's kind of a terrifying thought, isn't it? There's me. Ah. Orion. The operational appearance in the space station was never completed. Sarah and Rolf oversaw construction of the final wing until Lunar Council member MacArthur suspended shipments of material such as this panel, diverting all resources to a classified project on the moon. Right. We were going to Ares via Orion, and Ares is over here. Got it. Indeed. Okay, Aries is locked. So let's look in here and see what's going on. Ugh. Um. That's troubling. <laughs> we can bump that screwdriver. Yeah. Well, we're not going through there until the power's off. Ah. What's going on in here? Oof. Well, this is a little bit dangerous. Just, just, just a tiny bit. Uh, let's be careful not to drift too far here. And I'm guessing what I'm going to want to do is cut this power. through here. Could get us into Aries, yeah? Or not. <laughs> Do I need to... No, I can't cut this. Need to, like, squeeze through. Oh, there we go. What is going on here? The heck? Water? Oh, it's it's like a leaky pipe. Of course, there's zero gravity. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Can't open that. Um, all right. That's cool. Let's go on into here then. Objective. Provide power to the station rotation engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not what they want from me here. A lot of space. Uh oh. Rotation engine three needs four more power cells. Okay. Um, oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Some in here. Powering whatever these things do. Eh. Turn on our uh, flash. 
flashlight, I guess. Might as well. And then we will swap these out. Uh, but in order to get in here, we're gonna have to make some uh, space. Hope that's not important. Or this. Frick that. We're just gonna cut our way through here and hope nothing breaks. I didn't think I have to cut those, but whatever, it's fine. Yes. Ooh, that's problematic. Very problematic. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to the next one now. Oh God. Um, can I move on to the next one? Nope. I just have to, what, very carefully go through here. Ouch. Oh, God, that hurt. Get the power off. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Hurt, man. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be one more, and then life support's gonna be off, and we're gonna need to rotate the engine. Oh, without running out of freaking oxygen. It's not good. The countdown hasn't started on oxygen though, so that does tell me at least something. Okay, now do we go? Okay. Okay, we are going to be able to go this way and not have to go back. Life support is failing though. So we're gonna go up here. We need it. Oh boy. Go, go, go. Oh boy. Okay. Oof. I need to go to do this again. This way. I haven't started running out of oxygen yet. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Quickly, quickly. Eh. Activate rotation engine. Rotation engine activated. Okay. Base elevator online. Oh, freaking crap! Oh, I missed. Whoops. Uh, give me another shot, please. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, huh. Uh huh. Oh my god.
god, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. Exactly what I was talking about before, like being on the outside and oh god, and horrible. It's horrible. All right, go 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 go. Oh god. Like legitimately, I've thought about this before. It'd be like one of my greatest fears would be to just float away into space, be lost. That'd be t freaking terrible, dude. Okay, go, go, go! Oh my gosh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Okay, uh, 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 don't mess this up. All right, there's there's a few here. Oh God, no, 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 no! Oh, frick! There was a few there, but, ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. I okay, got it, got it, got it. I'm going, keeping going. Keep an eye out for any, any helpful things along the way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Some oxygen here. Okay. We do not go in there though, we need to go over here. Oh, hurry. Oh my god. Intense. Okay. Feel a little bit better. We're still dying, but yeah, there we go. Oh, it pushed me back. Go, go, go. Oh, I hit the button. We made it. But what did we make it to, you know? What are we gonna find here? Oh, we got gravity again. Achieve an ASC unit to gain access to MPT control center. Well, of course we have gravity. What am I saying? We're on the moon now. But still, it's comforting is what I was getting at. Uh, let's see. Cool. All right. Man, what a freaking rush that was. Um, where am I going? It's not an opening, John. Am I missing... Oh yeah, there's like a control thing. <laughs> Open doors. Aha, here we go. Copernicus Moon Hub, five years after the blackout. Not looking promising. Hello? Hello? 
seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I, um... Uh... team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only have 40 minutes down there. Copy that, Pearson. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? Will do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. Oof. Okay, so at least Sarah and Rolf made it this far. I was beginning to wonder. Yes. Yeah, see, the software behind your faithful companion. There, I found this book and thought you might like it. Please accept as a thank you for all of the emotions you programmed into my ASC. May this book inspire you to program many more. With kind regards, Rosa Laverde. Hmm. Okay. Access these things. Oh, that looks like something I want to access. Ooh. Still kind of like <laughs> a little bit like on edge from that whole experience of floating through space, grabbing oxygen containers. That was freaking intense. Like, legitimately so freaking intense. The ASE required. So we have to find our own little uh, Wheatley-looking guy <laughs> so that we can uh, properly navigate this place. There's a door there, but I just want to look around. Oh, there's a few of them, so you know what? Let's look around, scan. Kathy's place. Isaac was devastated when he learned of his wife's death in a dust storm on Earth in 2049. Unwilling to keep his daughters exposed to Earth's worsening conditions, he summoned them to join him on the moon. Claire refused out of concern over Kate, uh, Kathy's health and looked after her sister until Isaac exerted his influence to gain legal guardianship over Kathy. Kathy was brought to the moon soon after. This was her bed, huh? Moon bear. Troubling to think what might have happened, huh? Oh, antidepressants again. Hmm. Oh. Me, Rosa, ASE, and Teddy. Claire back on Earth. Okay. Over here. Oh, there we go. Priscilla Flowers, five lessons to make you a perfect parent. <laughs> How'd that work out for you, Isaac? Arthur, the one who put the kibosh on the supplies that would have kept this uh, station up there from falling a freaking part. But Secret Service certify that MacArthur was honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for years of excellence and diligence and distinguished service. Hmm. Uh, MacArthur, brief update. The evacuees from Tumba are settled in. A... Uh, the bed linen Tom I can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. Isaac Johnson. Isaac. Good, then we can begin soon. Time for them to make a decision. Remember that no leap forward has ever come without sacrifice, Isaac. Survival comes at a cost. Soon, the events at Tomba will be just a faint memory. Time to leave this all behind. Well, that doesn't sound pleasant. Not at all. Now I saw a thing that said storage. The door was shut. Is there any way I can open it? Not currently. Okay. And 
Rosa. Okay. Flashlight turned itself off there. That was a little disconcerting. I guess I don't really need it in here, but so. um, yeah, there we go. Um, that's a lot to read. They got top scientists. They were chosen by MacArthur. Do do. Uh huh. Okay. Not super important, but. Uh, so, yeah, Rosa and Kathy seem to be close, which is interesting to note. Okay. So we're going to run a diagnostic, but we need an ASC in order to do that. What's this? Beach, Crossroads, Tomba, Earth, the best and brightest, the new age, outward. Oh, somebody was to give a speech here, probably Isaac or MacArthur, probably actually. Now that I think about it. Okay. MacArthur. Can't go in there. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. I wanted to do something with that. Oops. Oh, it's the door shutting. I was like, what the frick? Isaac. Okay. These are like their workspaces, I'm guessing. And here's Rose's. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Ooh, look, it's the surface of the moon. How cool is that? Okay. Ah, here we go. William, what the hell was that speech about? Ah, it's chapter, Rosa. It's time. The ship will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. Are serious? Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the NPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we're not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Uh, is this really... Wow. An uh, ominous speech. Under Council Member William MacArthur comes to collect his colleague, Dr. Rosa Laverde, for a mysterious journey. Outraged, she refuses to join him and contends that the MPT and Earth can be saved. MacArthur doesn't take no for an answer and forces her to come with him. This is recorded four minutes after the blackout. All right, little guy. This is Rosa's office. Let me just check, make sure there's nothing else here that we need to do, okay. We need to figure out how to fix you up, buddy. Apparently, a bit of an issue. Um, is this open? Oh, this is open, okay.
maintenance. There we go. And look out there. So freaking cool. <laughs> Can't get over how just atmospheric this game is. It's so good. Oh, good. Base, ASE, and repair docks. Ah. Uh. I think this is one of them. What? Okay. See if we're gonna find any more of these parts around here, probably. Since hmm. the memory safe. Turn to the location of the recorder, activate any else around his unit, and watch your memory come to life. Kind of weird in concept, especially that it seems so commonplace in this scenario. Take that. I guess I need all three before I can do that. Two suits here. Interesting. this last piece oh hmm but we, but we got to put our ASE friend in there oh here we go got it all the replacement parts. Understood. But first, let me poke around in here. Anything cool? Hmm. 